All righty. Hey, guys. Um, this is Oasis. I am creating this video for those of you all who have been asking me about um, how to use Zoom, what exactly it is, and how to connect to it. So um, this video is basically a quick run through of the features of Zoom. Um, so the way you um, the way you really uh, join Zoom is that um, you just have to click on the link which we put up on the Facebook post. Uh, the link usually contains something called a meeting ID. Um, what a meeting ID does is that um, it just has a link which connects you directly to the people who've set up the meeting and you can just join in. Uh, we are not going to be setting passwords even though we can because we want it to be open to anyone who wants to join in. Um, what we plan to do is um, to just use a single account, um, most probably mine, because I have a university linked Zoom account which allows me to uh, have meetings more than 40 minutes, in fact, as long as we want. Um, because if you have a free account, then um, you have a 40 minute time limit for any meeting. Plus I have uh, cloud storage available uh, thanks to the university. So it's easier for me to store and share the recordings uh, and upload them on YouTube. So um, what you will be, um, what the meeting that you'll be joining, the ID will be what is displayed on the screen. Uh, 6350467204. Uh, you can join any meeting uh, with just the meeting ID itself. You just have to uh, download the Zoom app or um, just log on to zoom.us and or zoom. Just search for Zoom on Google and then um, just enter the meeting ID. You don't have to register, I believe, to, to use Zoom, but uh, you might as well because it's free, of course, and we'll be holding several webinars, so you might as well do that. Um, okay, so as, as far as the features of uh, Zoom go, um, I'm, I'm, I think you guys can see the screen um, that I'm currently sharing and recording. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can see um, five different tabs. Uh, there's something called Join Audio. Um, so this is basically, um, you can dial in, um, call by the device audio. I'm just gonna, you know, just, oops. This meeting is being recorded. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. I'm just gonna be muting it. That's gonna create an issue. Anyways. I'm going to disconnect the audio. Yeah, that's much better. So you can start your video uh, by clicking this button right here. That's me. Hello. And uh, you can stop it. Um, I'm sharing the screen, but I don't think we'll be allowing any people to share their screen. So you probably won't have this option right here, the third button. The important thing, which as a participant, you need to keep in mind is this button participants right here. So you'll see a list of participants. Uh, who are currently in the chat. Um, so you can raise your hand. This is an important feature right here. So when you click the uh, small arrow on the side, um, you have the option of actually raising your hand. And that's important if you want to ask any particular question. So this is the sort of appearance that you'll see on the screen um, so that the speaker knows that someone wants to ask for a particular question or wants to interrupt without actually is like or um, interrupting their speech. And then you can lower your hand. Uh, we request everyone to just rename themselves, uh, call themselves what they actually are, uh, so that we can address you by your actual names. Uh, you can chat with people, you can chat with individuals, or you can chat with everyone. Now this is important in case you want to ask a question, but you don't feel comfortable actually asking it uh, to everyone or just putting it in a public forum. So then you can just send either me or the host of the meeting um, the question that you have and then we can post it anonymously. So those are good options. Um, so that's the chat option for you guys. You, you have the option of muting or unmuting other people uh, based on you know 
if you uh, want to listen to what they have to contribute or not. Um, as a general rule, whenever people enter the chat, we just ensure that everyone's muted so that uh, people who are entering aren't disturbing the flow of events. But you do have the option of unmuting yourself. So uh, if at all you feel that you want to contribute or have anything to ask, please go ahead and do that. Although the raise hand option is, I feel like a better way to um, put forward your point. Um, then if you want to invite people, if you want to share the link with other people and you don't really have it, you can click on the invite button right here. And instead of doing any of these, you can just click copy URL. So the URL is copied, you just go and paste it or just send it across to whoever's interested. Um, so for example, if I want to send this as um, a message, a text message to whoever it is, um, say my mother, for example, <laughs> Uh, she's going to get this this link um, and then if she clicks this link she has the option of uh, joining the zoom meeting now as you guys can can see um, I have actually logged into the same account from both my laptop as well as my phone and that is an option which I really like so in case I'm in I'm on a lab meeting for example I can still set up the meeting on my account and have it being recorded in the background. So that is a good option. But I don't believe that I can have two meetings at the same time. So um, I can't be the host of two meetings. I think there is there's something like that. So that's something which we'll have to figure out anyways. Um, yeah, that should suffice um, in terms of, you know, getting everything sorted. Uh, you have the option if by sharing screens you have the option of something called annotation now when i when i use the word annotation what i mean is you if someone's sharing a screen um you can write on that screen or you can comment on that screen or you can draw on that screen using these particular tools that you have available to you uh you can text like you can type out something you can highlight something you can um you know just change the color you can redo undo you know, there's there's a lot of options available. And the good thing is that this is from um, the phone. So you have all of this available from your phones as well. Uh, if you're using a desktop, obviously you have a lot more options, but the phone is equally good if you just want to log in. So that is um, Zoom as far as the um, participation goes. You can select, change your meetings, if you'd like to give a thumbs up to anyone, clap symbol, uh, clap symbol emojis, you can do those. Um, you can go to the meeting settings and then you can play around, have a look. Um, all of you all will be muted on entry, this button right here. Uh, we will not be keeping play chant for enter exit just because it distracts everyone a lot. Uh, you will be allowed to chat with everyone else, but please don't misuse it. Of course, goes without saying. Um, yeah, and whenever people join, we'll probably ask them to like, we'll probably display their name to everyone else. Um, yeah, that's that should do it. Can batteries low anyways. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions, just drop me a message on Facebook or text me or WhatsApp me or um, email me, whatever, whatever suits you. Uh, I will reply even though it might take me some time to do that but I will definitely get in touch. Um, all right, great, uh, stay safe and have a great day. Good night if you're in the US and have a great day if you're elsewhere.